We are back at it. I hope everybody has having a wonderful morning. And thank you so much for tuning in. Michael Garfield, High Tech Texan Show. Been doing it for 22 years here in Houston and also listened all around this great state of ours. And actually all around the country, if not the world, on iHeartRadio. We do thank you for that. Big time of year. You know, I've been yapping about it. The countdown is on, people. It is Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo Time. I, I really do love this. And especially the barbecue cook-off, which is happening Next weekend, uh, easily the three most fun nights of the year. Uh, there's a lot of fun stuff. If you've never been, you got to go. But when you go, man, you got to get decked out. You got to be because, listen, I'm a Texan, but I really don't have the hat. You know, I've had boots for a while, but I mean, I really got to just put, put put on the doodads and the duds throughout the rodeo season. And over the years, I've collected uh, some nice hats uh, and a belt or so, but uh, I hit the jackpot because I just found out. And and I'm serious. It is one of the coolest stores that I've seen in Houston, if not Texas, where you need to get there ASAP to get your boots and you get your belts, you get your hats. It's called Republic Boot Company. And it's in the Heights right now. And uh, I I follow these guys on Facebook. It's like, man, everybody in the world, they got famous people. It's so fun. So I popped in, I don't know, a few weeks ago and uh, hung out with Chris Conrad, who's a idea this was years and years ago and it is just the mecca of texas since it is almost rodeo time i wanted to bring him on to let him tell his story a little bit more chris Consat, conrad the impresario mr texan how are you my man i appreciate you tuning in hey michael how are you i'm doing great doing great it's our, it's our time of year it's rodeo time in houston you know being in being in texas and having a boot company you, you think i you have to imagine and i and i've saw the backup that you guys have making your custom boots i mean it's a 365 year deal uh, you've had employees there who just are just so knowledgeable and so skilled without a doubt but obviously you're right this time of year everybody's like oh i forgot rodeo's coming up how quickly can i get something <laughs> and so i bet you're going crazy yeah you know it's a passion of ours to keep the experience something that's really unique and just Next level. It's not a big box store. We're not a small somebody's garage making stuff. We are a combination of all these things that really is the ultimate Texas experience. And, you know, our custom boots are not going to be next day kind of thing. It's going to take a bit of time. We're at about, you know, seven, eight months out. But you can grab boots today from our stock line. So we do have pre-made boots. Well, it's exactly what I did. But the funny thing is, I mean, I like experience. I like mom and pop stores. I like small idea stores that that continue to grow. This really should be a destination. I mean, when you walk in, I mean, Chris, this is Texas. I mean, you smell the leather. I mean, you see all the cow hides hanging. You've got just rows and rows of just gorgeous boots in the front. Yes. And you can measure and you can custom make them in back. You've got a freaking bar, my man. Dude, your bar is stronger than my bar at home. You got brown water. You've got beer you got a, you got a you got a stage chris where live bands play when you created this concept of republic boot company it, what was in your mind to bring texas into a, a physical store i mean those are the things that i love right i spent a lot of time i spent about 20 years traveling internationally i lived in italy for a long time spent a lot of time in japan and i really saw what they loved to do and what they thought texas was right they would say oh cowboy texas and i'm like yeah, actually we are Actually, my family was were those things, right? So, um, and I, I loved what they were doing as well from their culture. So when I came back, I was determined to create something that was just really cool, Texas, authentic, where you can actually see the guys making the stuff. It's not, not just something that's cranked out of a machine, but you can watch our guys uh, take that artistic aspects of what they're doing and then have it be made in front of you. I thought it was so cool. So that was the idea. And then bring in all the other things that you just talked about, like the the bar, the live music, the handcrafted, you know, uh, singer songwriter stuff. It's just really resonates with folks, and we just they love it. So it's it's a passion thing, man. They love it. Talking with Chris Conrad, he is with Republic Boot Company. We'll make sure to give the address, and uh, we'll, I'm also going to let you know when the next bands are coming because there's a lot of beer, a lot of fun going on. I totally can see this is better than bar, Chris. But that's the thing. That's what Texas is. We are friendly folk, and for the people who are listening to this out of state, I mean, when they come to our great state, they need to come in and visit this thing in, in Houston. But you just hang, and you become friends, and you look on the wall, all of the famous people, the pictures who have come in and got custom-made boots for you, uh, and the craftsmanship. Uh, what You showed me the uh, uh, the gentleman back there who's been doing this in his, his entire lifetime, the craftsmanship. Hey, tell, tell us about this this boot maker and his experience. Yeah, so so the master, our master bootmaker's name is Raul Cerillo. He's just a fantastic gentleman. Uh, he said he had a vision from God to come to us, which I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> you know, until he came, <laughs> I don't know who that is. People would walk in. I was like, that's John Wayne's master bootmaker. He's done all these, you know, from Willie Nelson to 
the bushes to everybody. I mean, he's, he's the guy, the best in America. And it was just a real blessing to have this guy, you know, come to our shop many years ago. I think it's been about eight years ago. He's a third generation boot maker. And then we have apprentices learning underneath him, his sons and others. So it's, uh, it's really great. I mean, he's a preacher as well. So we just have this great synergy of just good people uh, that are just passionate about the craft. And he loves to kind of show off the, uh, these different things I was talking about, the, the hand carving and the, the lighting the thing on fire and the, you know, all these different aspects that go into creating a boot that people have no idea. So, you know, I said, look, we're going to be working in here, but it's also a showroom. It's like a educational like school where people can kind of understand what's going on, but also have a good time. So it's a, it's this great blend. And, you know, the store's not too small, too big. We call it kind of like a Goldilocks, just right. And uh, we have we have the best guys in the world here. Talking to Chris Conrad. He is with uh, Republic Boot Company. Go ahead. I want you to name drop. I want you to give me just a handful of the stars that over the years uh, that you have fitted boots for. And, and listen, it's not like it's a secret. You walk in and their their names are everywhere. But I mean, you are, the, you know, you're, you're the Western outfitter bootmaker to the stars, brother. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. No, we'd like to do stuff for those, those people that I was talking about before. And you can see a lot of the guys on our website as well. But, you know, my main passion is, is our is our common folk, the people that put a lot of money down into dropping this for their wedding, for their retirement gift or for these different things. It's the common people that I really care about. Yeah, we've made boots for Altuve and J.J. Watt and a lot of singer songwriter guys, Robert O'Keen and others. I mean, that come in all the time, bull riders. But, you know, my main passion, Michael, is, is just the people that come in. I mean, the Laura Anthony's that spent two thousand dollars for her wedding or you know, John Smith that got him for his retirement gift or whatever. Those are the people that I I love. I mean, we've had people get buried in our boots, people that my grandfather, my great grandfather had this certain style. And then we replicate that. And then those people have honestly passed away and they're buried in our boots. It's a crazy thing. But that's the people that we really like to, to name drop or the people that, um, you know, are the, the hardworking people getting our boots. And we're going to take care of those people for life. They're going to come in. I'm going to say, hey, I had Mario, Mario Diaz in here earlier. He's bought four pairs of boots. We're, we're drinking a beer together. He's having a good time. We're friends with those guys forever. Because honestly, some of these, some of the bigger names, they don't, they don't, they're not as passionate about our boots because they get stuff all the time. You know, the people that actually want to make part of the boot, which they can't, which they can pick the leathers out and go through it. Those are the people that I really, I love to do boots for. It's called Republic Boot Company. When you walk in, you'll quickly see it's just more than boots. And, and this is the time of year. And again, I'm really kind of talking specifically if you're in and around Houston or you're going to come to Rodeo Houston, you want to come in maybe one-stop shop and you just want to get duded out. So yes, you got the boots and you do have them on the shelf for men and women. But I saw, I mean, you've got jackets. I mean, for men, you know me, I'm Mr. Fashionista over here. I mean, you've got some really cool shirts, some colorful shirts. You've got some great jackets. But for the ladies over there, I mean, you've got the purses and you've got the, 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 the jackets with the, with the with the, the the bling and the fringe on stuff like that. So I mean, you, you you cater to everything from the entire outfit, not just on their feet. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we're known for our boots, bags, and belts, which are leather products. Of course, we hand make all of those. We also have a in-house uh, suit designer, which is Blue Fine Menswear, so you can get the full custom suit. It's kind of the Texas look, right? You got the suit jacket, the jeans, the boots. Then we have a custom hat maker inside of our shop as well. So yeah, you can get the whole thing. You know, those are the core elements. And then, of course, we've got little ladies things and other other components. But it's it's fun. You know, it's not too much of that stuff because we're focused on on our core product boots. Uh, but we have a fun time with it and we can make just about anything out of leather as well. So if you got something that like a, a holster or something very specific, we've, we've done some really interesting things with that. No, I like it. I'm already getting emails over here. People are saying, shut up. Just, just Michael, just tell us the address, please, and what are his hours? And so I'll leave it to you. Republic Boot Company, where can they find you? What days and uh, hours you open? Yeah, so we're in the Heights. So my family is from the Heights from the 1800s. So we this new shop, we've only been here a year. We came back to the Heights, which is a unique building. It's over 100 years old, right here on Studewood and 11th Street here in the Heights. And so you can find us at republicbootcompany.com. You can you can, uh, there's lots of ways to get there. You just put a Republic Boot Company in your Google and it'll take you right here. Gotcha. And your days, boot you... house. <laughs> boot house. And what a day. You open seven days a week or what you got? Uh, no, we're, we're t have our guys take off on Sundays, but we're open every day. So from 10 to six, most of the week. And then Saturdays, 11 to four, come out and see us. You know, if you want to make, if you want to get some custom boots, you can come in anytime, but just uh, drop us an email, drop us a message. We have a little chat button on our website and uh, we can get you some time. So we can, we can dedicate. Uh, hours to you to make it very specific for you. But if you're in a rush and you just want to stop by, 
come on in. We got tons of other stuff that you can you can uh, get get uh, immediately. Well, I, I, I can say for a fact your products are top notch. And for all my listeners who happen to see me walking around and who's going to see me uh, at tomorrow night's rodeo best bites or you know see see me doing a lot of barbecue cook off, look on my feet maybe because I'm sporting some uh, some brand new uh, crocodiles over here. So <laughs> here's some beautiful right. stuff, man. I the, my next stop is I need my high tech Texan logo. But again, that's seven or eight months, and for an ADHD folk guy like me, I'm gonna suck it up. I'm gonna make it dumb. But you know, you're the only place I'm getting my stuff. Thank you, brother. It's a good time, man. <laughs> uh, he's good. Chris Conrad, I can't think of it. By the way, I'm a marketing guy, so I'm going to give you one more slogan, okay? You mentioned you have boots, bags, and belts. I'm going to just make sure we continue the alliteration. Folks, if you want boots, bags, belts, beer, or bourbon, make ah. sure you check out the Republic Boot Company. You dig that? I love it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, you're the man. best. Such a nice, nice guy. Great. Uh, your, your kids, your, your wife, just, it's a wonderful family affair. It's got a Republic Boot Company. It's in the Heights. Uh, I'm sure I'll see you out at uh, Rodeo or Cook Off or something like that. But listen, congrats on your success. And this is absolutely generational that you're going to continue this because it is all Texas and you do such a great job. Awesome, Michael. Thank you so much, brother. You got it. all right, folks. I mean, seriously, we can talk more about this. We can talk about barbecue, but you know, it's funny. I, I'll come back on the other side and I'll tell stories. I remember my first pair of boots that my my parents got me. They were dingo boots. I mean, I'm serious. I bet your first pair of boots you're never going to forget. Um, and I now have. I've never had a custom made one. I'm going to know I'm going to get them soon. But I got these gorgeous pair that I uh, picked up at the Republic Group Company, and I've got several right now. So yeehaw! What? I am a Texan. Listen, folks, don't go anywhere. Seven one three two one two five nine five zero. The High Tech Texan Show continues right here. It's Michael Garfield.